In this video, we're talking green screen. I'm gonna give you my top tips for better green screen inside of Resolve. We're gonna cover some basic stuff that you could do in the edit page, as well as some super advanced tips in the fusion page. Let's do it. Our first tip is if you wanna just do kind of a quick and dirty green screen, you know, something like this, like a let's play video where you have kind of a face cam in the lower corner, and it's kind of understood that this is green screen, and it's totally okay that it looks like green screen. You just kind of put the foreground over the background. Here we have a shot of our buddy Dan, very nicely lit and put in front of a green screen. This is a great clip to practice on, by the way. We'll go ahead and put a link to that down below. You can download this and follow along. But if I just want to get rid of this green screen, I'd highly recommend using the 3D keyer effect in Resolve. So in the edit page, I can go to my effects panel and open up my open effects and find 3D keyer and just drag that onto whatever green screen clip I want to get rid of the green screen on. And then we do a couple things. First thing is we go to this little menu right here and make sure to select open effects overlay. Make sure this is white. And then you just click and drag on the green screen and draw a stroke. And you're supposed to draw this stroke wherever your green screen is. And you can draw it all over. You just want to include all of the tones in the green screen. And then it will do a surprisingly good job at just getting rid of the green. And this might be perfect for your gaming videos and explainers. 3D Keyer is great. Now, let's take this one step further. If we zoom in here, let's zoom in, this is about 200. You'll notice there's a little edge around this that's kind of this bright green. Can you see that in the cheap seats? <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. The way that we can fix that here in the 3D Keyer is to go to Behavior Options right here and there is a little slider called despill. Take this and just push this all the way up and that will get rid of the green. Now, it is going to give you this little kind of brown outline, which is generally less noticeable than the green. One thing we can also do is go down to our matte finesse controls and we can take this in out ratio and just kind of play with this a little bit. Take this in out ratio, pull that in and out back a little bit and also push this blur up a little bit. So we're blurring into it and we're bringing in the in out ratio and that's gonna really get rid of that little edge. And it's going to just subtly eat in on all of the edges around here, which if you don't have wispy hair, works pretty well. If there is hair, it's going to maybe smooth it out a little bit more than you'd really want. But especially since this is kind of a quick and dirty kind of green screen, the edges look really, really nice. And man, it plays back well, it's easy. And that is a really solid green screen for this kind of thing. So use that despill and the matte finesse controls in the 3D here to make your edges a little bit better. From there, you could go to your transform controls right here and scale this down, put this in the corner. And one thing we'll also wanna do is kind of crop off the edges here, which we could do in a couple ways. One thing that I could do is just literally crop this like that, and that would work. And now we have our let's play green screen effect that works pretty darn well. Looks really solid. There are a few little minor problems with this, but the reality is for this kind of video, you're not really gonna care that much. The point of it isn't to have a perfectly realistic key, but to just put somebody in the corner and get rid of the green. Now, if you crave more, if you want just a better key than this, it's pretty likely that you're gonna have to go into Fusion to get that. Here is the key of the same shot that I did in Fusion. And you'll notice a couple things if you really zoom in here. One is we have a lot more detail with this hair, even the hairs on the back of his neck. The edges aren't eaten away so much. It's a really, really solid key. Green screen, just like all visual effects, are gonna kind of be on a continuum from quick and dirty, and it looks okay, to it takes a little bit more time, but it looks better. Let's just kind of reset our transforms here. So this is the kind of key that we can get with a 3D keyer. We have this kind of eaten away, and we don't have detail here in the beard, versus in Fusion, we have all of that detail still. So let's switch into Fusion and have a look at how we made this. This we have probably the most simple setup for green screen in Fusion, which centers around an effect called Delta Keyer. Delta Keyer is the main green screen keyer inside of Fusion, and it has a lot of tools, a lot of different things that you can adjust. We don't have time to get into all of that right now, but a couple tips for using the Delta Keyer. Let's just reset this real quick. If you grab this eyedropper and drag it onto the green background, that's going to remove the green background, but it's not going to do it perfectly. If we were to switch to the alpha channel by hitting A, that's the transparency of this shot, we'll see that there are a lot of problems with the matte. 
doing green screen is mostly about getting a really good map. Hey, Matt, how can we get back on the right track? The map, remember, is a black and white image where black is transparent and white is opaque. And so whatever parts of this image we want to be opaque need to be white, and anything we want to be transparent should be black. So one thing we could do is mess with the screen gain. That's going to give us a little bit more high contrast here, because ideally we want just a black screen with a white subject here. We can also go over to our mat right here and adjust the thresholds. I can push this high threshold down to make sure we have this pure white. And then if I don't view this alpha, then we have this being nicely cut out. And this is going to give us a pretty good result. Here's a couple tips for using this Delta Keyer. One is when you're doing green screen and you actually want it to be really nice, you have to reduce the noise. You have to do some noise reduction because even though this looks pretty clean, if we were to zoom in here, do a little bit of contrast on our viewer here, there actually is some dancing noise in this footage, which is going to make this a little bit harder to key. So it's best to reduce the noise. There we go. Makes that a lot less intense before you do your key. Now for a very important tip, if you do any amount of visual effects, if you do more than more than a couple VFX shots per year and you actually want them to be good, I would highly recommend getting a plugin called Neat Video. This is an open effects plugin called Neat Video Reduce Noise, and it's dead simple. All you do is open up your image, draw a box in a constant color like this green screen. Ideally, it looks the same in all of the channels. And then you hit build profile and apply. And it will turn your footage from this to this. Much, much better. And that will make your green screen keys way better. So just reducing the noise and using the Delta Keyer helps a lot. But another really great tip is for this Delta Keyer, don't pick the background color like this. Use a node called Clean Plate. What this does is it lets you pick a background color with this node, and that's going to kind of isolate your green screen and anything else that's kind of left over here, you can crop out with this threshold. And then you erode it a little bit to make sure that you're only selecting the green screen. And then you push up this grow edges. And what that does is that fills in the whole screen with this same green color. And you can plug the output of this clean plate into the pink input of the Delta Keyer, and it will give you an insanely good key. Just by default, let's look at this alpha channel. It's way better than it was. And then we just need a little bit of tweaking. Use these thresholds a little bit. And now we have this really nice key. Keeps all these kind of details here. And once you have that built in Fusion, you can just switch back over to the edit page and that'll cut out the alpha channel and you can put that over your footage. Now, if you're looking to do some really high-end VFX with your green screen, you know, like Hollywood movie kind of style, I have a couple tips for you. I'm gonna switch to this other clip that I have. Here we have a shot on green screen, and we've removed the green screen and put it on a background. And I think it looks pretty good. And when you're doing something like this, there's a lot more work <laughs> if you want it to look really good. So the first tip here is don't be afraid to do a bunch of work to make your VFX look good when it comes to green screen because some things just do take a lot of work like this. Now, we don't have time to get into every single little part of this, but a couple things to mention. When you're getting really crazy with green screen, you're essentially working on two things. You're working on the alpha, which is the transparency, the matte, and you're working on a despill. And you generally work on those kind of separately. So over here we have our alpha, so our actual key, and so this is from our Delta Keyer, and this is made much in the same way where we just did. We have our original footage, we reduce the noise, we have a clean plate, we put that into the Delta Keyer. The only other thing that's going on here is I have a garbage mat, which is just getting rid of all of this other stuff around the green screen. And I'm taking this and just using the alpha channel and using that as a mask in a merge for my actual colors. The colors, Duke! The colors! And the actual colors for this image, it's mostly working on despill. So that's taking this green and desaturating it and grading it and really working on this part to kind of get rid of the green and blend it with the background and kind of working on this image so that it, one, doesn't have any kind of green shininess on it, and two, that it matches with the background. So we have a couple of color corrections here. We have where I'm just adding a little bit of orange light here and a little bit of blue light over there. And that's all kind of being put together. And it looks like this image, which we're putting over everything. And then we're just cutting it out with the alpha from our keyer like this. Bloop. And so there's kind of two halves to the magic. There's getting a good alpha and then there's 
adjusting your colors, and then later you cut them out with the alpha. This is something that I didn't really know until recently, and it's super helpful because they are kind of two different operations, and it's nice to have them separated so that you can concentrate on each one. And for my last tip when it comes to green screen is that despill is really where the magic happens. All right, you can get a good transparency, you can get a good key, but adjusting the colors of the image, especially around the edges, that's what really makes a nice clean key. It's less about getting an amazing alpha channel and a lot more about kind of fixing the edges so that they blend well with the background. Here's a little example. We'll just kind of zoom in here to this part right here. So this is with all of the treatment that we've done to the colors and despill and everything. And this is just with the key, just the alpha. So this is the image from the Delta Keyer. And this is the one with our very special despill and all of that stuff. And so it makes a big difference, especially with the edges, especially with suppressing this green. One of these looks a lot more natural with the background, especially right here with the hair versus this one that kind of looks like a cutout. That right there is the secret sauce. Yes, you want to get a good, clean alpha channel to cut out your subject, but that combines with a shot that is color corrected to match the background. All of that combines together to make a really nice green screen effect where you aren't cutting back too much into your image. You're not choking it too much. You still have a lot of this hair detail. So we even have the strands of hair right there and it matches with the background very nicely. There is a lot to green screen and we go really deep into green screen in our courses on groundcontrol.film. A great place to start is our Pro VFX course, which is right there. If you want to download some of this footage and practice your green screen skills, well, there's a link down below. All right. I hope these tips were helpful for you. And I got a new cup. All right. And it has a dinosaur with a taco on it, which is something that I want to be a part of. Okay.